Morning you gorgeous lot, welcome back to the ABL Reselling Channel, I'm Dave Keith. This morning, I'm absolutely on my chin strap. Yesterday I spent the day moving into the new unit, not used to that much physical exercise if I'm perfectly honest. So um, uh, yeah, feeling the effects of that this morning, very bleary eyed. More to follow on that later, I shall probably do a little video midweek about that one. We're off to the Fowl Coast this morning, I'm going to Norcross and probably Billsbury again. I'm a bit giddy about it because of the success I had last time I was there. So we're going to hit that again. Also, I've got to get out today because I'm at a party tonight, so there's a very, very good chance I'm not going to get to a boot sale tomorrow morning. Rather than waffle on, I'm going to go and get some coffee. It's very, very much needed this morning. And we've got a tag along today. My lad Dominic's coming with me as well. So we're going to train him up. I'm going to start training him up into the reseller game. So let's get over there, see what we can find. More often than not, it's worthwhile um, paying the extra again early. Just get the first bite of the cherry kind of thing. Morning mate, how you doing? Morning, how much are you ducks? Uh, they're two pounds. They're two if you want them. Brilliant, add to my collection. Cheers mate, thank you. Uh, anything about Pokemon cards? No. no. I don't know how to tell the difference between fake and real life. Yeah, no, no one can. I'm not sure like an expert at this. Sorry, man, you're always, uh, I'll work. <laughs> I'm always a bloody hindrance, me. <laughs> and what's your shoes and trainers? Depends on what they are. So those are three pound each. Yeah. Those two. No worries, we'll do those. Are you finished yet? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Thanks, lovely. Cheers. You get attacked by the door, then, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. I well, took your deal on it, but it's a pretty solid one, that. It is, isn't it? I've about a tenner for it, mate. I've got five of it, and it works. I've, I've, uh, I've checked the wiring. I put a new plug on it. Yep. It did have an extension cable on it with a switch on it, whoever did that. Gotcha. I didn't know why they did that. that. There's was not wrong with it. No. Might have had it as a bedside lamp. Possibly, yeah. Forty pound each. Yeah, there's a way to do it though. So I was checking I was just checking that the lady there gave me a price of 40 pounds each. Right, so I typed in what it said on the box there. American audio CDI 100 MP3. Yeah. yeah, that's what I typed in. When you see a search result, that's what it comes up as. Mm. So to check the prices that they sell at, you go to filter condition so the condition used you can actually lock that as a search result as well yeah going down see where it says sold items yeah so that filters it all by obviously what's sold yeah and then always buy it now because buy it now always fetches a higher price than auction mm. you got to think like buyers if somebody decides they want to buy something yeah. then they want it there and then they don't want to wait for six months sorry they don't want to wait for seven days to hope that they win it they want to buy it and get it delivered as quickly as possible mm. so and that's showing me one result and that one result that's told me it's this item sold for 35 pound on the 9th of August, so the lady wants 40 quid. Yeah. She's not gonna come down that much. 
uh, it, on the price so there's not going to be enough margin in it to make any money yeah. so that's how you check uh, what they sell for well, one other thing to look for as well if it's quite a popular item yeah. there'll be a few obviously that have sold and then going off the dates you can tell how regularly it sold yeah and that's how you check how much that thing how much things are worth on ebay Soul. How much are your shoes? Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Looks like the weather's put a lot of people off at uh, Norcross today. Total tally was four pairs of shoes and two rubber duckies. <laughs> I like the rubber duckies, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> so we've covered the diesel. We're going to hit another boot sale now. Probably a little bit earlier than we normally would as well. Whether it'll be much the same, probably, but we're going to go anyway. Did you find anything exciting? No. Nothing that you wanted to buy? It's, no. just been, it's been a chance to learn something though. Yeah. <laughs> right, Billsborough next. So let's head off over there, see what we can find there. Hopefully we strike gold. I'm not holding my breath. Are you holding your breath? We're just going to be like, in Mackie's by about 10 o'clock this morning, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> See you in a bit. Shaving wood. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. You look at you. Doing a bit, pal. Just right, no? That's all you do, shit. You just got to do it, pal. Right, you need to waste it doing, I think. Right, it's on your radio. Fiber. No, it's one. We've got all these. That's one more. That's it. That's pure, that one. Isn't that? What's that one? Yeah, yeah. That. No. It says pure on it. It's pure radio. There you go. Oh, I thought it was nice and neat. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, you're right. Yeah, fits. Perfect. Yeah, radio online. Oh. <laughs> Here you go, Flora. Cheers. Good morning. Good morning, mate. How are you doing? Ah, not so well. Yeah. Now. I've had a lot of boots off you in the past. I'm hoping I can do the same today. All oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> Lowers, been redone. How much you got on those? 20 quid. A gift. And 65 quid for refurb sold. Have you any more? Are these the only ones you got today? The only ones I've got. Have you got any hakes or Altbergs? Uh, yeah, hang on. We have because of the weather. It's been. Uh, it's just not raining, is it? Yeah. I think it's heading over Norcross. We've just come from Norcross. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's quiet over there. Windy, very windy. Yeah. Oh, you're all right. You're all right. We're not in a rush today. Boat. 20 quid again. What about your skates? Uh, tenner. Can you just grab those boots or just look at that, Dom? Yeah, the black ones just next to the two Delta boxes. So, it's with our bees, aren't they? Once again, a tenner. Hi-Tex. Yeah, I've got a few Hi-Tex in. The, uh, they tend to hang around for a bit. Let's have a look at those. 
No way. You know that uh, leather jacket that we were struggling hanging up yesterday? The one in a like a suit bag? Yeah. It just sold for 150 quid. <laughs> Boom! Right, that's not what I was doing. It's chicken Ituri. Ituri. Right, so what I was showing you before, just typing it in. Ituri, is that how you spell it? Yeah. Right. Oh no, hang on. Yeah, it is. I T U R R I boots. So because I clicked on the the, the padlock symbol, it's locked in the yeah. filters. So selling so really regularly. So they're on the pile. He's a very uh, good man to know this man. What you do is a deal on those three. Forty quid. How's that? Hold on. Thank you, sir. I'm going to stick those three pairs in the yeah, trolley. I'll gear them as well. They have been worn, but we just want to polish them. Oh, top man. Thank you very much, yeah. sir. Cheers. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate that. I think you might have a couple of army bits in there that we're looking at as well. Do you mind if I stick my head in the door? No. No. Cheers, bud. Yeah. It's mainly clothes in that corner yeah. pile. I'll block them in, you see. I'm getting out of them parkers. They put the prices up drastic. Yeah. Uh, it's not them cheap. Yeah. Never heard of those ones before. I must think they'd be quite big. I've just taken a unit on. All right. And I, I'm, I've not much more space than when I had all my stuff at home. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but I've, there's another one that I've got. I've got earmarked. But at the minute, I'm having to watch what I pick up for space more than anything else. Yeah. When are you here next? Uh. Tomorrow, depending on the weather, all next week. It's supposed to be, uh, it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the, that's the word on the ground. Right. Uh, I'll just have a quick once over. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And then. Uh, yeah. So I'm looking at more margin. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. Now then, Welco jungles, King. Yeah, I'll have a look. How much are you looking at for those? Uh, Fifteen for a pair of them. Yeah, we can do that. Brand new, then. Yeah. I'm clearing my house. This is all stuff that I've had since before COVID. Right, got you. So, I obviously just want bloody rid of it. So <laughs> I won't want it another year. Yeah, no, fair enough. Fair enough. I'll do them for 15 as well. Two of them. Two pounds. Are they the ones I was just looking at in, yeah. the, in the van? Yeah. And they're just a generic one these aren't yeah, they? Made in China yeah, made in China's Yeah. We we wear I sell, we've got to be I've got to be able to describe them because I, I sell a lot on eBay and that. Yeah 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 sure. So yeah. um okay. I've got to be able to describe them so yeah yeah, yeah. I'm glad they came now. Yeah. <laughs> I just met somebody I know who did the, the did the trip the other way around who came here first yeah. and said I won't bother I'm bloody glad I did. <laughs> I like proving people wrong though. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just untied for an hour and of course there was a little glimmer of hope yeah. on the horizon, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's lashing down here. Yeah, now. yeah. Stick it, it out. It's supposed to be alright till about two o'clock, I reckon oh, now. God, yeah. Have a good day anyway, yeah, but yeah. thank you. The ones you've got. That's it. Yeah. I was looking for a round, a round number. <laughs> All right. I'll give you these with anyway. Oh, brilliant! Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Much obliged. That's great. That. Cheers, Cheers, buddy. Thank you. I think it's uh, been worth it for both our whiles now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. I've been living with them for three. Years. <laughs> Should I met you earlier, shouldn't I? <laughs> Let's give over. How much have you got in your bankers, lad, bud? 20. He 
You got any wiggle room in it? <laughs> Price wise. Thank Not you, really. mate. Keep Keep that. He, likes, he likes my stall, Ian. No worries. Amazon stock. How much are these skateboards? Twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Yeah. Oh, Fifteen, are you, isn't it? Cheers, That's fantastic. Uh, I might have a five if you struggle. Well, I've only got one left, so yeah, if you got it. Three, four, five. That's in that. Cheers, Thank buddy. You. Yeah, I think that's just about done now. <laughs> what was I just saying to you? I said, we'll, we'll swing by that guy who got the boots off on the way back because I'm bound to have missed something. All right. <laughs> nice one. Cheers, pal. All, All right, the best yeah, to you. Well, that's how it's done at Billsborough. Much better result. Certainly better than I was expecting, mostly due to the fact that we just bought a load of boots, haven't we? Yeah. A load of boots. You didn't really find anything again, no. did you? Nothing like jumping out of you saying, buy me. No. That one. Maybe next time. Right, well, let's get everything off home now, go through what I picked up, obviously tell you how much it's getting listed for, and we might stop off for a bit of a snack on the way home, eh? We will. We, we will. We need <laughs> Fair enough, let's get it done. I shall see you guys in a little while. Well, it's mostly been a booties from the booty day kind of day today. <laughs> Turtle spend was £101, and for that I got 18 items. Let's get into it, then I'll strap the GoPro to my head, as you're well aware, and I'll take you through what I picked up. Okie dokie then, let's get into it. First out of the gate, really nice pair of lower boots. These have been professionally resold by Vibram. Overall, they're in great condition as well, actually. Size seven and a half these. I think I bought all these boots off the same seller as well. Listing value on these lower boots, £60. And we have a trio, well, there's actually more than a trio of high-tech boots, but one of them are a fail. Uh, three pairs of high-tech waterproof boots. I'm gonna put a listing value of 20 to £25 on each of them. Obviously for the video, I'm gonna use the low end of that scale, but we've got, this, these are a small, size four, size eight, and a size 11. Great condition, all three pairs. The fail is the next pair of high-tech boot, tech boots. I picked these up, I got a bit carried away. The guy was only charging me a five at a time for them, but this is very obviously, on hindsight, a mismatched pair. There's one matte and one gloss for a start. They're completely different colors and different styles as well. They are the same size and they are a left and right boot. So I have no idea what I'm gonna do with those. They'll probably just get consigned to the bin if I'm honest. Wasn't paying attention on those, so I'm not gonna put a listing value on them. Next out of the gate, are these Ituri waterproof hiking boots. Ituri is a brand that, it rings a bell for some strange reason. I-T-U-R-R-I, size seven, again, great condition. Listing value on those is a, a quite impressive 45 pound. Now these jungle boots, I'm not entirely sure if they were American military issue, but the brand is Welco, W-E-L-L-C-O. There's a size 10 and a size seven and a half. These would be well worthwhile you're looking out for if you're out and about, because a listing value in the condition they're in, which is pretty good, is 45 pound each. And last of the boots, two pairs of Magnum Desert Boots. These are gonna need a bit of TLC uh, once over with the suede brush. Aside from that, they're pretty good condition. The soles are good. I did the bend test on all of them, which is something that you must do on all boots that you pick up because the rubber on the soles does corrupt over time. The best way to test it is by doing a bend test. And if the rubber is corrupted, it will split basically across the sole. These could be in better condition to be fair, but again, I'll Got, I only paid five pound a pair for them, so I was always going to pick them up. Now I've put a tentative listing value on these of twenty-five pound. That's less than the comps, but I've put that valuation on because of the condition and where I end up with the price will very much depend on what they look like once I've cleaned them up. Aside from grubbiness, they are in great condition though. Now these were very surprising roses. I get, it's been a while since I picked some of these up. I can't remember if I pronounced it right. 
<laughs> last time or indeed this time Roses is a great brand for skates particularly the likes of the ice hockey skates the more sports skates if you will but I'm always looking at quad skates because the the nine times out of ten great news paid very very little for these they are going to need some uh, cleaning up they're a size 10 sadly somebody's written it on the soles on both so I'm gonna have to spend a bit of time cleaning these up and only one of them has got an insole as well the reason I was surprised is because Roses actually command some of them really really impressive returns I think the last pair I sold were at uh, street hockey skates and I think they were inline skates as well if memory serves more of an aggressive skate they went for over a hundred pound but still nothing to be sniffed at here compared to what I paid for them which was five or ten pound I'd have to check back listing value on those 30 pound don't normally pick up carry more trainers but these are in great condition and really eye-catching as well uh, probably a ladies trainer I would say nothing spectacular Price-wise, I'm going to stick a listing value on those of £15. Sketches Bob's Memory Foam Trainers. Very few comps for this exact model. Sketches always a good brand to be looking out for. Uh, if you remember me saying in my last video, the last but one, watch the soles on Sketches because they're so soft, they wear out really easily. Listing value on those, £25. More of a bread and butter pickup here. We've got some Clark's Software Brogues. These are ladies' brogues. I think because I wasn't expecting to pick very much up, these were a bit more of a... I pressured myself into buying these. Fortunately, I didn't pay very much for them. Clark's are a bit of a staple for me now, but they're in a bit more of a worn condition than I'd like. I valued them accordingly, though. Listing value on those, £13. Now, this is a great brand to watch out for. I've only seen one pair in the wild myself but these are sperry topsider the boat shoes i'm going to put a bit of a range on the listing volume on these because they do look at one of the shoes is is stained on the toe so they may need a trip through the washing machine a very eye-catching shoe though very good looking now the range i'm going to put on the listing value wise is 25 to 30 pound and where i end up with the price again will depend on how they look when i've cleaned them up now there was a time where buying pure dab radios was a safe bet those days are fast disappearing it would seem i thought at a fiver this pure alan dab radio was a properly safe bet i'll still make a bit of money on it but not anywhere near as much as i'd hoped i like a fool i didn't check comps and you should always check comps regardless of who you are how long you've been in the game one thing to note on pure up uh, your dab radios a lot of them are sold without a power lead obviously they take batteries and they're the power pack was is actually an optional extra bizarrely this one does actually come with its power lead which is always a bonus but perhaps slightly disappointingly a listing value just 17 pound on that now from the guy who got the boots off i think he took a bit of a shine to me to be fair i have bought a lot of boots off him in the past to be fair though and he actually chucked these these in absolutely free of charge the first is a pair of mns kids walking boots size one and the second size five pair of arco safety boots i wouldn't usually pick up safety boots across the board particularly arco ones there's just no value in them whatsoever and kids clothing and shoes there is very rare exceptions uh, that i pick up usually not at all if there are a very eye-catching pair of Doc Martins kids, say, then perhaps if they're cheap enough. But across the board, kids stuff, just don't get involved with it because I can't find the margin. Still, I'm not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. So the listing value I'm going to put on each of these is £7. <laughs> Lastly today, purely indulgently, if you ever wondered what roughly tufty bikers get up to in the spare time it's collecting rubber duckies so please let me introduce you to corporal cluck and the chef duck a l'orange these will be going into my collection i say a collection it's not much of a collection to be fair but this is it now there's going to be leather clad bikers watching this video from around the world sitting down with a mug of Horlicks doing the knitting saying you're bloody ruining our reputation Dave come on <laughs> it was great to have Dominic's company today as well over on the boot cell did a little bit of training he is showing the early stages of an interest in the reselling game they start in college in a couple of weeks so maybe he'll be able to supplement his partying <laughs> by doing a bit of reselling 
only time will tell. I know there wasn't much to go at today, but if you did spot anything that I missed, let me know in the comments of the video. Obviously, I don't necessarily know the things you know, and it's always great to get feedback from you guys on items I can be looking out for. If you've got any kind of value out of this video at all, any kind of entertainment or information, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And of course, if you haven't done already, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. Thanks very much indeed again for watching guys and the support in this channel. It really, really is appreciated. I've been Dave Keith. You've been amazing. See you in the next video. These are not like the bits. I just said it ill. I don't know if you know what I say. That's why I much prefer doing edited videos than live ones. Because I could just, I can say, you can just and that, that thing, won't make it to the video. I'm gonna laugh if you forget to edit that yeah. out now. <laughs> That's just at the end of the video because you've got to edit it out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna forget. <laughs>